Hello everybody! How is everybody doing today? It is Monday, March 25th, 12.31pm! Extremely late start for me today. Um, Finnegan followed, followed me out here today. Buddy. Good boy. Um, yeah, I woke up this morning and I just really felt like playing Fallout 4. So I did. But it's a Monday. It's a Monday. Olin Rogers reference. Um, and so I gotta ship things. I have, uh, I don't know how many things I have to ship. 15. I have 15 things to ship from over the weekend. Um, decent weekend for me. It's been picking back up um, because it's just been slow because of all the work we've been doing with this new building and, and other stuff. And my parents were in town visiting, so I haven't been listing nearly as much. I think I went a whole week without listing anything. Um, so now I'm getting back into listing and I got a bunch of steins that I sold that I got from a garage sale. Uh, that'll be in a future video on my main channel. I'll show you guys everything that sold. I already did um, pull a few orders on Saturday. I haven't shipped them up yet, but. So I got a lot of, um, <laughs> it's recycling. Um, a lot of Sch Schultz, Schultz, Schultz and Dooley. I'm um, not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, beer steins, they're character beer steins, and they're very, very uh, valuable because they're very collectible, apparently. And I sold a lot of them over the weekend. Um, let me see. I sold this one. Wanda Goblet. I think is what that one's called, for $40. That is the least valuable one. I was going to say how much I paid for all of them, but you know what? I'm going to wait because that's going to be in a future video. I shouldn't even be showing you guys these, but they're super, super cool. Wait till you guys uh, see um, how much I got all these for. Absolutely crazy. Uh, this tourist here, Stein, sold for $175. Plus shipping. All these were plus shipping. Um, and then the same buyer bought two. Um, oh, no, not this one. This one was someone else, but Frosty Snowman for $120. And then the same buyer bought these two. Bought, ah, ow. bought the parrot. He was in the box, which is cool. He doesn't have the styrofoam in there, but... Uh, but yeah, that's what he looks like, but I don't know if you guys can see him. It's a green, green parrot. Super cool. He's in there. I gotta finish wrapping him up. And then the same buyer also bought the penguin. Uh, parrot sold for 125 Penguin sold for 60 And then I have to go grab some other ones that I have sold. Plus some other stuff that's not Stein related. This one is the Marine Lieutenant Brewer, sold for $99, plus the buyer paid shipping. I'm going to pull all the steins first, and then uh, pull the other stuff that sold. But I'll show you guys all the steins first. So, I had a buyer buy, same buyer bought two. Bless you, Finnegan, he's over there sneezing. Alright, and then the same buyer got these two. As I almost dropped this one, oh my gosh, I would have had a heart attack. Yeah, okay, he's good. I thought he, thought I heard something for a second. I'm always really paranoid about condition. Um, but he bought this one for $150. And then he also bought the elf. This elf, he paid more for the elf than this one, actually. No, this one's bigger. The elf was $170. So same buyer bought these two. And I think there was one more stein that actually I just sold today, but I'll probably ship it out today. He's right here. He's right on the right on the edge. I don't have to pull out the tote. That's always nice. You see man, that's what he's called. He sold, I think I sent a 10% off offer, so it's kind of a weird number. $89.10 is what this one sold. So I gotta pack up all those. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. A lot of fragile stuff. Um, now there is one more, guys, which I'm not gonna mention to you guys. 
what this one is, but it is the most valuable one. It way its value is way more than the rest of these. Um, and I'm currently doing an auction on it. That's how rare it is. And I've already got bids on it, and the value is way higher than these. But I'm not going to tell you guys what that one is or the value. You guys will have to see that on my main channel. Have to go check that out. But that one I'm really excited about. Uh, these, so basically what I'm going to do, how I ship these before, because I've already shipped quite a few of these. Um, I have 50 of these in total. You stop sneezing over there. He gets allergies, man. He gets so sniffly. But, um, I like to put a piece of thin bubble wrap just in between, just to, you know, so it's not shaking around. Um, and then I just wrap the crap out of them in bubble wrap and put them in nice sturdy boxes. That's how I do those. I have some Teva flip-flops, some Hoka shoes. I ran a sale, uh, to just kind of get rid of some stale inventory, so some of these I've had for a while. These Hoka shoes, I'm pretty sure I got these at the bins, at Goodwill bins. So I didn't really pay much at all for these. Um, and they sold for $25 plus shipping. There's a string in there. Got these brand new Tiva uh, flip-flops. Uh, they're part of my sale that I'm currently running. Uh, $22.39 plus the buyer paid shipping. All right, and then I got a little vintage rubber uh, lamb wagon. That's cool. I like that piece. I almost didn't include that in my sale, but uh, I said screw it. Try to move stuff out. I think I paid two bucks. I think I paid two bucks for these. I think these I paid three dollars for. And this I think I paid two. This is smaller than what I remember. Uh, Finnegan does not care. He's over there looking at himself. Uh, $23.99 is what this sold. That one was free shipping for some reason. I usually don't charge free shipping, so that's interesting. But that's all right. I paid like two bucks, I think, for it. So, um, The other one is a Care Bear keychain. It's in C. I see it right there. I see you. Right there. I don't even got to pull down the thing. Care Bear keychain. I think I got a buck or two into this. Sold for twelve fifty nine plus the buyer paid shipping. Turvis tumbler, that's over there. Butterfly ice bucket. Fifteen dollars thirty nine cents plus they paid shipping. Um, I think I paid three dollars for that. I'm gonna have to move some of this. I don't got room. I need another shelf to just put pulled inventory as I ship it. All right, I think this is it. Alice and Clover. Yeah. One through three plus are you Alice? So yep, that's it. Um that was also part of my sale. It sold for $24.49. Plus the bar paid shipping. And then I got a Lady Wrangler blouse, which I thought was really cool. If this was if that was more my style of shirt, I probably would have kept this. It was just so cool. But let me show you guys. Let's see, that's in V. There's a shirt. Very, very lightweight, vintage. Um, yeah, it was uh, Lady Wrangler. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. But Lady Wrangler. And it just has this cool, like, all this animal print. Like, look how cool that is. All the different animals. But it's just, I don't know, it's not really my style shirt. If this print was on like, if this print was on like a t-shirt, uh, heck yeah, I would have kept this, but, but that's all right. It sold uh, $24.49 plus the buyer page shipping. I think I only have like two bucks into this. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. So yeah, I'm going to get all these packed up and shipped up and then I think today guys I'm gonna try I really need to get listed some more but I'm gonna try to um probably go through a few totes um and start looking through totes um looking through my inventory making sure everything is is listed um because I know eBay um has a has a tendency to delist your items just randomly without you knowing um, 
and I found one item by chance, like, months ago, um, that was no longer listed. So, I haven't gone through my full inventory in years, honestly. So, I need to go through it and just make sure everything is still listed, um, and pull stuff that isn't listed. So, I will keep you guys updated with that. But I'm going to get all this stuff shipped out because I need to get this shipped today um, and get this to the post office first. So I realized, guys, in the first footage um, that you couldn't really see uh, when I was showing, when I was trying to show you guys, like, the, uh, how I was packing these. Um, so I figured I would just show you guys again real quick. But I basically was trying to show you guys, like, putting a little piece of just a thin square bubble wrap in between. That's what I was doing when <laughs> I think Frosty was blocking you guys and you guys couldn't see. But yeah, I just put a nice thin layer. I don't want to put too much more because I don't want to like mess up the hinge or anything. If it's like, you know, if it, I don't want to ship it like open like this because I feel like that's more prone to get damaged. I just want to put a little thin layer in here just so it's not like rattling around. Um, and then I'm going to wrap it really nice and tight, really thick and put them in a nice um, thick box. I have all the steins left. I've shipped everything else. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that and then get back to you guys. All right, everybody. So I am back, uh, from being in town and shipping everything. Um, it took a while to pack all those steins up because they're all fragile and needed wrapped very well and secured. Um, so it took me, um, a couple hours to ship all those, actually. Um, and so we ran into town, shipped those, and, uh, had to stop a few other places for Donnie. Um, I did list... A few things. I think I listed like five things today, but I do want to um, start uh, going through some of these totes and seeing if things are pulled, pulling what's not po uh, pulling what's not listed. It is now 7:12 p.m. I think Donnie is in the process of making dinner, so I don't know how long I have before that. Um, but yeah, I'll just see how far I go. Far I go. Far blah, blah blah. See how far I make it. How far I go. So far I make it, sounds right, sounds better. Okay, so I finished this whole shelf, except uh, this tote down here um, is all clothes, so that's going to take a little longer, but Donnie's mad at me because I uh, have not come to dinner yet, so I'm going to do that one tomorrow. Um, I did find- oh, ow, jeez, I tripped. I did find three things, but I know I, I'm the one who took this one down because a lady messaged me, um, it was like a month or so ago wanting just this one doll out of this lot. So I sold her the one doll and I never relisted it. This one, oh gosh, this was so long ago. But I think I took this one down too. Um, I think I ended up wanting to keep one of the DVDs that were in this lot. I can't remember for sure, but I think I ended up, I actually took that one down. This one though, little Build-A-Bear shoes. Those should not have been down. Those should have been listed. Um, so yeah, only three things so far. Two of which, I'm pretty sure are me. Well, that one I know for 100% was me. I delisted that one. Uh, this one I think I did like a long, long time ago and I just completely forgot. These I did not. These should have been listed from, uh, from what I know. Hello everyone, it is the next morning. Tuesday morning, March 26th. Um, I'm gonna finish going through all of my inventory. It shouldn't take too long. I should be able to knock it out here. Uh, I don't know. I've never done this before, but it definitely takes less than an hour. Like it doesn't. It doesn't take long. Um, 
it only took me like I don't know like 10 minutes to do this whole that whole shelf over over there behind me um, so yeah I'm gonna knock out the rest of this and then I'll get back with you guys Alright everybody, so I went through all my listings. I am done. Took longer than I thought it would, but I'm done. Got it done. Um, these, all of this is stuff that wasn't listed, but these are separated because uh, these are ones I believe um, I took down myself. This one, I know I did because I sold a Smurf out of this plush lot to someone who wanted one. Um, I just never relisted it. This one, honestly, I took down this listing because I could not find it for the longest time. I forgot to put in the SKU. So I don't want to sell it and then spend like hours trying to find it. So I found it. So I'll probably relist that. Um, these were from yesterday. These sh should have been listed. This Pelican. Um, I think I took him down a while ago because I had other Pelican plush to put him with. And then I just never did. I completely forgot about him. <laughs> So these are all my fault. This one I took down just now, just today, because uh, this is from like a YouTube uh, Odd Ones Out, I believe. And I have another Odds One Out that I just picked up like a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to put them together as a lot. So I took him down uh, just today. But then these are the ones that should have been listed. Not as many as honestly I thought there was going to be. So uh, not too bad. Still ridiculous that eBay does that. But these ones I know for a fact I listed and they should have been listed. And they weren't. They were not listed. So I have this uh, uh, Dramacon like manga, anime type book. Uh, this vintage My Little Pony. And then two Harley Davidson shirts. One's a button up. One is like a, a sweater. Sweatshirt. Um, so yeah, those are not listed. I'm going to have to relist those. Um, and they definitely should have been listed. I know for a fact I listed these. But I mean, it's annoying that eBay does that. But I know it's a thing. I've heard it being a thing. I've heard of a lot of other, um, you know, sellers having the same issues. So I wanted to go through, because I've never done it before in my years of selling on eBay. I've never gone through my inventory uh, to make sure everything's listed. So I finally decided to do it. Um, now that I moved into my new building, things were a little more organized. Um, and yeah, so I got four things that were not listed that definitely should have been. So I definitely think it's important to go through your inventory once in a while just to make sure that it's all listed, go through stale inventory, things like that. Um, but let me know if you guys, you know, have had any issues with eBay taking down your listings and, you know, no notification, no reason why, just out of the blue, just gone. Um, and let me know if you guys have any issues with that as well. But today I'm going to list some stuff, but I think I'm going to call it here for this video. Um, I'm going to get some stuff listing, uh, listed. I also have to ship uh, a couple things today. So yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to be busy doing that, but I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys so much. Appreciate you guys so much. And I'll see you soon.